first item of business today is time for reflection and our time for reflection leader is Miss Abby Lang, head girl, Harris Academy Dundee and campaigner for awareness of young sudden cardiac death in association with the charity Cardiac Risk in the Young. Abby. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this opportunity to address you. Today, I want to reflect on an issue I care about and which has motivated me to take action. Young sudden cardiac death is instant, unexpected, and in most cases, preventable. As a carer for my granny who had motor neuron disease, I knew her diagnosis was terminal and could prepare for her passing. However, families and friends of young sudden cardiac death victims are not afforded this period of psychological adjustment. For my Scottish Baccalaureate in Science interdisciplinary project, I researched young sudden cardiac death. I discovered that shockingly, every week in the UK, at least 12 young people under the age of 35 die suddenly from a previously undiagnosed heart condition. 80% of these deaths occur with no prior symptoms or family history. I've been actively raising the profile of national charity Cardiac Risk in the Young, known as CRY, which believes every 14-year-old should have access to optional free heart screening. In March, the British Heart Foundation revealed people with potentially deadly heart conditions are too often not diagnosed until a life-threatening cardiac arrest or sudden death in the family. This highlights the importance of CRY screening programme which tests around 27,000 young people across the UK every year. Bereaved families normally finance CRI-conducted community screenings. As a senior black belt in karate, I signed up for a test as I wanted reassurance I can physically exert myself during cardiovascular activity without the risk of exacerbating a head and heart condition. Fortunately, my electrocardiogram, which examines the electrical activity within your heart, was normal. My ECG was paid for by the Peter McAvoy Memorial Fund. The 22-year-old talented footballer from Dundee died of an undiagnosed heart condition whilst on a soccer scholarship in America. This coming weekend, the Memorial Fund's 200 cardiac screenings in Creef and Dundee are fully booked, confirming the demand for testing. The same number of individuals were screened last year resulting in six onward GP referrals, potentially saving these young lives. I feel it is fitting that in Scotland's year of young people, this issue is addressed. Shakespeare's King Lear observed, nothing will come of nothing. As a Scottish nation, we are responsible for the health of young hearts. So my hope is we can work together to do something. Thank you. Now the next item of business is